Quick, when you think of Walt Disney World Resort, what are you picturing? A castle, right? Gnawing on turkey legs, maybe kids crying, fireworks, corn dogs, corn dog nuggets. But this place, Jungle Cruise Skipper Canteen, has brought a very aggressive menu to the park. As the story goes, Skipper Canteen is the restaurant associated with one of the park's oldest rides, the Jungle Cruise. On it, a boat takes riders through a comical journey down the Nile, Amazon, and Congo rivers. I know, it's not real, but it's fun and it's kitschy. And remember, we're in a theme park. In absolutely no shape, way, or form are these flavors and ingredients being served anywhere in the Magic Kingdom. This park was not a good food scene. And now, while well, yes, Skipper Canteen is a themed restaurant, the cuisine succeeds at its attempt to stay true to the ride's journey. Of course, in its own Disney-fied, nuanced way. I think what stands out most for me is that before you guys opened about a year ago, you couldn't get food like this in the Magic no. Kingdom. You have so many different cultures and different nationalities that come here. We have a Brazilian steak on our menu. We have something from Thailand, and we put our little spin on it. I'd love to know, just from your perspective, the whole process behind some of my favorite dishes here. Can you tell me about the lamb? The Baba Berber lamb? The Baba Berber <laughs> lamb. <laughs> that is one of our newest dishes. The lamb itself is rubbed ahead of time in a mixture of different spices. It's pan seared, roasted off in the oven. It's finished with an assortment of couscous. The couscous has some curry uh, carrots in it. It has some green beans. It has some fresh mint tossed in it, some Jerusalem artichokes. And then the sauce around is a roasted lamb sauce. It's just reduced down, finished with a little bit of butter and a little bit of roux in the sauce itself. And then the lamb goes on top, finished with a little micro cilantro on top. And how about the char siu pork? The char siu pork is actually a three-day process for us. So we cut it down and brine it, and then it's set overnight for 24 hours. The next morning it's brought out, and it's cooked for a 12-hour process at 250 degrees. It's sliced the next day and then grilled to order. That's not typical of Magic Kingdom restaurants, no. right? No, we do this over a three-day process just because it's very tender and very juicy once it's done. And it's an amazing dish. Our guests enjoy that very much. It's sweet, it's tangy, it has a barbecue essence to it. But you can just bite right through it. It's so soft and buttery. When you eat char siu, sometimes it can be greasy, but it's definitely not it really is balanced very well. Just fatty enough, just crisp enough on the edges. I could eat all three of these and keep going for more. I'm gonna have the Baba Berber lamb chop. The flavor is very rich. It has a peppery essence to it, and when you mix the flavors of the dish together, especially with the sauce, it really brings out the crust on that lamb. And it all really complements each other. So this Nile Nelly noodle bowl, it comes with either duck or chicken, and it's essentially a bowl of pho, but the ratio of noodles to broth is a bit opposite. It's interesting, because usually when you get a pho, it's, there's so much broth. I like that this is a hearty meal. There's so many noodles in it. The mix of vegetables within it, there's jalapeno, there's carrot, there's onions in here. It's really flavorful. I'm gonna get some of this duck. The duck is fantastic, wow the crispy bits on it, and a little bit of grease. It just brings a lot to the table. This is the most popular dish, the sishumai. They make these in-house, form an assembly line, and they make these by hand every single day. This is the thing that people keep coming back for, myself included. Look at that. I love that it's a whole blend. The mix of pork and shrimp and arugula really comes through. The meat is also very tender. There's a lot happening in it. I'm gonna keep eating the rest of these and then hop on a few coasters. But for more videos, click here. 3D. We're wrapping it around a salt globe. And then inside of it is a candle. So the candle is actually filled with the fat from the ham leg. And at the table it's lit and you're kind of supposed to, you know, play with your food.